Hello everyone welcome to back my channel I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. After Julie Chrisley's resentencing hearing last week, where the judge upheld her original 84-month prison term, Todd Chrisley is worried about her. One of the couple's lawyers, Jay Surgent, told the New York Post that Todd is extremely disappointed and dissatisfied with the judge's decision on September 25. The news source also said that Todd is worried about Julie's health and welfare after the resentencing setback, especially since she had what the Post called a serious health problem in jail. Julie and her husband, Todd, were found guilty of bank fraud and tax evasion in 2022 and given seven years in federal jail. She was given an appeal earlier this year, and her resentencing hearing took place last Wednesday in Atlanta. The judge upheld Julie's original sentence. Sarah Chrisley, Julie and Todd's daughter, shared letters her mom wrote while she was in jail back in March. Through one of her letters, Julie talked about a time when a jail doctor told her that she might have had a tumor. When I walked in, I thought it was gynecology. When I went to see the doctor, she told me that my HCG number was 10.2 which is high. In pregnancy, this is a hormone. That height is too high. It would show that I am pregnant if it were a little higher. Because that can't be true, it might be a sign of a tumor, Julie wrote in the letter. It was like I fell apart, she said. How is this possible? I am going to get a scan and have my blood work done again. I won't tell anyone until I know what's going on. I'm really scared. I only want my husband. I'm not sure I can handle this without him. After being told she had breast cancer in 2012, Julie had a double mastectomy. In 2013, she also had a hysterectomy and then said she was in recovery. I would like to say I've had years to think about what I've wanted to say and I'm sorry for my actions and the situations that led us to where we are today, Julie told the court last week during her resentencing hearing. She was crying. I've been in jail for 20 months, but it was longer before the trial. I'm sorry for what I did that got us to where we are now. I have done everything I can to get closer to my family, she said. I've taken tests to learn new things, like how to drive a truck and serve food the right way. This has been the hardest time of my life. Because of what my kids have been through, I will never be able to repay them. I'm so sorry. Thanks for watching this video and please subscribe our America People News YouTube channel for more update news.